big one. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Stefania. I'm a content creator, cosplayer, and also an aspiring actress. Today, I am opening something very exciting. You guys can see it right here. This is the Spider-Man Edition PlayStation 5. I wasn't going to buy this PS5. I was originally gonna buy the regular white console and then buy the face plates for it because I figured it would be cheaper, especially if it was like a used PS5. But all together with the game, the PS5, the face plates, and the controller, it all would have summed up to this price anyway. So I was like, I'll just buy it. But now we're gonna open it because it arrived today and I'm excited, but I'm not gonna install it tonight because I kind of need to clear up space for it because I'm gonna use my PC to stream. I'll stream if they don't strike, if SAG doesn't strike for the gaming industry because then I can't stream because I don't want to cross the line, of course. But here we are today, I'm gonna open this. Let's get into it so let's get my handy dandy swiss army knife here oh it cuts like butter it's so fancy i just am i supposed to rip that oh you may be wondering where are you where are you well i'm in my kitchen right now because this is a big table and i'm home alone so this is the perfect opportunity to use this table to unbox this and i have the space for it right here okay this is gonna be a minute, hold on. Boy, whoo! You know, I didn't go to the gym today, so that was my workout right there. That was loud. <laughs> oh, here's the art. Maybe I should show you guys the art on this, right? So, here's the art. On the box in the back. Venom, and uh, Spider-Man, and uh, Miles who's also Spider-Man. This is my first PS5, guys. My brother has a PS5 and I wanted to play Spider-Man on that when it came out, but he said, get your own because when the game comes out, he's gonna be on that console constantly. And I wanna stream this game, you know, again, if they don't strike. So I was like, fine, I will get my own PS5. So I got the Spider-Man one. Ooh, it's the controller. So here's the thing. I pre-ordered the controller with the face plates I was originally gonna get, but I canceled the face plates, right? Cause I got the PS5. But I didn't cancel the controller because I was like, well, I guess I'll still get it because it was about to ship anyway, and I'll just give it to my brother. But here is my own. We have the charger for it, power cord, important. You know, you kind of need the power cord to power the console, so. Oh, this is the base. I was like, they give me a wireless charger? <laughs> it's the base for it, all about that base. HDMI cord, important, because you know, we gotta hook it up to your TV. Here is the big boy. And if you buy the Spider-Man console, you automatically get a code for the game. So put that to the side. Here is the real star of the show for this video right here. Take out the end pieces. It's like egg cartons. No, they don't. I don't know why I said that, but I did and I can't take it back now. Here we have the PS5. Unravel it carefully. Ooh, that Venom design. I'm so excited for this game. Oh my God. It's like, it's so sleek. I love the matte finish. The matte black finish just looks so, so nice. That's beauty right there. This right here is my favorite thing. With the controller design, chef's kiss. Love it. I love it. Oh, it smells so new. Such a good smell. So the Spider-Man PS5 is a disc insert. It's not digital, but I obviously do not care because it's just so nice. It's so nice. I'm so hyped for this. <laughs> I'm excited to use this. This is my very own first PS5. This is mine right here. So I won't be installing it tonight because I have to clear up space on my desk for this to go on. And I also have to set some things up with the capture card and make sure everything works. So I will come back tomorrow and I will show you guys the installation process. So I have the PS5 connecting to the PC because I wanna stream the game and the PC is where I play all my games. So I have a video capture card. I will show you a picture of which one I have here. And I also will leave a link in the description so you can buy your own. So here's our HDMI cable. I already have an HDMI cable connected 
but it was for my Nintendo Switch. I'm going to use the cable that they gave me because it's always best to use the cable that comes with the console. Okay, so we have our cable. Let's plug it in. I make sure that it's in all the way because there were times where I've plugged in HDMI's or even DisplayPort wires and they just weren't plugged in all the way and it was messing up my screen. Okay, HDMI is plugged in. I'm just going to go ahead and plug in the power cord as well and then I will plug it into the outlet after once I get it in its position. So for the sake of this video, I am not going to install the LAN cable yet because I do not have one, but I will be using one because it will be faster with downloading games and also with streaming as well. But for right now, let's finish setting this up and I will connect it to my PC. Okay, so I think I'm going to be placing my PS5 right in that position. It kind of covers my PC monitor a bit, but I think if I shift it over to the right, it should be fine. I have a ton of space in between my two monitors, so it won't be a problem. Before I continue, I just want to show you guys the controller. This is the Spider-Man PS5 controller. I love, love, love the design. I'm super excited to see Venom in this game, and I'm just super excited in general to play another Spider-Man game. And of course, all the controllers come with a charging wire. So I just opened up Streamlabs and I can already see that it has the PS5 console and controller, so it recognizes that it is connected. So now on my other monitor, I can switch it to HDMI and hopefully we will get the PS5 home screen. Or in this case, the setup screen because I do have to set it up. I don't know if you guys heard that. I believe the audio's the audio is coming from my monitor has to be. So for the sake of this video, I am not going to plug in my headset to the capture card because then I have to put on my headphones and I really don't want to. Okay, so I'm currently in setup mode, so I'm gonna set this thing up and then I will show you guys the home screen. Okay, we are all set up. Here is the PS5 home screen. I am super, super excited. I do not have any of my previous data from my brother's PS5 on here yet, but I will install that later. And I will also set up the Wi-Fi with the cable so it has a better connection. That's, that's pretty much it. So here's my game library. Obviously, I have nothing there. Um, I have media gallery, playroom, PlayStation store where I get all my games and that's pretty much it. So I will set up my account on this PS5 and then I will be streaming some games. That is all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and enjoyed my excitement in opening up my PS5 and installing it. I am very much looking forward to streaming games. I will be streaming the new Spider-Man game when it comes out but I will also be streaming some other games before the game comes out because I definitely want to put this PS5 to the test. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. And also don't forget to follow me on all my social medias. They are linked down below in the description. I will also be linking where I got my PS5 and my capture card. That is all for this week's video. Thanks for watching. Bye.